Hello there guys, how are you? Once again Nuno here speaking you from Portugal today with another video we are going to perform a surgical implant <laughs> just kidding to my MacBook Pro so we are going to put um, 16 gigs of RAM on this late 211 Sandy Bridge Core i7 running at 2.2 gigahertz I found uh, here in a store a very good price for, in fact, Mac memory. It's the Corsair. So we have here two uh, units of eight gigs each. So it's Mac memory. I should tell you that, in fact, I'm running here on this MacBook Pro eight gigs of uh, normal memory okay normal memory already made uh, i suppose i don't know six or seven months ago an upgrade for four uh, to eight gigs and i bought uh, kingston uh, general memory of course with with uh, the specifications to for mac also uh, but this general memory and it works with uh, without any flaw but well i found a very good price for this uh, to 8 gigs uh, of Mac memory and we are going to make that implant <laughs> in this uh, in this Mac. Uh, I'm going to perform a gig bench on this uh, not the configuration that I have right now with the 8 gigs for you to, sh to check and for me to check also and then we all we are going to uh, change the the memory that uh, the 8 gigs that I have installed for in each slot and we are going to change to the 16 gigs and check the difference okay so guys let's go ahead uh, i'm going to of course uh, take um, my mac apart okay make the incision <laughs> and uh, of, per perhaps i will record that for the guys that don't know how to do it but i will make you know um, a speed on that on that taking all the screws and take the, taking the cover and everything okay so let's go ahead i'll move the camera and start uh, the procedure but first let's see the kick bench on the this configuration that i have okay guys very well uh, let's check here for you to no it's not not necessary let's go ahead to geek bench open Geekbench, don't check um, as you can see here we have the specifications on this Mac so it's a late 211 Core i7 2.2 gigahertz with uh, 8 gigs of uh, DDR3 memory installed and running the latest OS OS 10 okay uh, I'm going to put this in 64-bit mode and all the applications are closed and let's run the geek the, the geek bench i will not wait let's go ahead and put speed in this for you not to wait okay very well so here we have let's make here a zoom you here we have so um, total score of 10391 so the number that will check is the memory bandwidth uh, performance it's 7293 okay guys so this is the configuration that i have right now with the 8 gigs of ram installed so let's go ahead take this macbook apart and install the new 16 gigs of ram let's go ahead uh, I'm, I'm sorry about this uh, let's go ahead and test also nova bench it's a, a, a geek bench um, app that is on the app store and uh, allows you to test also your your benchmarks on the computer so same configuration here the 8 gigs of ram install let's start the test everything is closed okay let's continue
I will fast forward this. Okay, we have a score of 10,078 and we have a score on the RAM of 174. Okay, this should be enough. Let's go ahead and install the 16 gigs of RAM. Okay guys, let's go ahead. I only screw the first one for you to check and then I will fast forward just to advise you that be careful uh, the screws are different okay so i will of course skip and put this in high speed Okay guys, the cover is out, now what you have to do is, on the vents, you have to pull it gently, one pop, and gently. Two pops, okay? And go ahead, carefully, and here you have it, let's put this aside. Yeah, some dust here, as you can see. Here we have the models, okay? The four gigs each. I already took the opportunity and took apart my eight gigs of Mac memory. Let me see if you can check. Okay, here we have it. Okay, the eight gigs model. So let's go ahead and take these ones apart. I know you probably will not see very well, but there are some you have to pull okay these clicks that they are here and just they release the RAM and here you have it this is normal Kingston RAM okay for PC or Mac this is the 4 gigs model let's put this aside one and there are two slots on this MacBook Pro and the other one will is the first Pull the first and then the second one just to have to be careful in this. Okay. And the second one. Okay. Now let's go ahead and boost this machine with the 16 gigs. Be aware of this. Okay. You have to align this gap here, okay, with the gap that is on your logic board. In this case, is okay in a 40, 45 degree angle. You go ahead on the lower slot, okay, gently pull or push. Sorry, push. Okay, seems okay, and then go ahead and down until here click perfect let's go ahead to the second model and do exactly the same okay align the gap as you can see here with the gap that is on the model of the, your logic board 45 degree angle again push sorry pull uh, push yeah seems nice no problem here <coughs> and here we have everything is done now I will put the back cover um, again uh, I will skip this part I will not make fast forward or everything I will show you now uh, everything is mounted and uh, we'll check the results okay so let's go very well guys, um, so here we have uh, our system already connected. Let's perform the same 
tests. Let's go ahead to the Geekbench. Okay, Geekbench, here we have it. As you can see, now we are with 16 gigs of DDR3. Okay, 16 gigs, same operating system and same laptop. Let's go ahead and put this in the 64 bit mode. Everything is closed and let's run the benchmarks. So let's see if there is a. Um, well, I'm not expecting a huge difference, okay? But let's check um, how this uh, improvement, doubling the RAM, performs on Geekbench. Let's uh, put this put speed in this uh, benchmark. Okay, here we have 10,395, uh, let's go ahead here, let's go ahead here, okay, 16 gigs as you can see, okay. And the memory bandwidth is 7,132. I will make the test again to see if there is any difference. Let's put some speed here, just for you not to wait. Well, as you can see, as you can see, there are uh, in Geekbench variations, and this is a, uh, in fact, a good, good, a good bump. Okay, now, as you can see, we have ten thousand four hundred and thirty-six, and the score of uh, let me zoom out, let me zoom out, and okay, um, I wasn't check also for memory performance but you can compare in the first phase of the video the difference okay memory performance um, <clears throat> it's in fact uh, a little bit different okay let's go to the other tests <clears throat> this is in fact a, a good bump here let's go to the other test let's quit this okay and let's perform nova bench nova bench here you have it 16 gigs also here we have it for you to check okay 16 gigs over there and let's start tests everything is closed yes <clears throat> i will speed this a little bit also Okay guys, so in fact here we have a huge, huge difference, okay? Um, if you want, you can check on this video, you can uh, rewind and check when uh, the system had the 8 gigs, the score, okay? And now with these 16 gigs, uh, you have a score of 216 I suppose in the other one was 174 so in fact and even here on the the global score we were uh, whew, a lot low than this okay it was 1000 something and now we have 11 uh, 1117 okay so 11117 okay so guys in these uh, normal tests <clears throat> we see some some difference let me move the camera okay let me move here the camera again <laughs> not very professional guys but 
Uh, <clears throat> this is the test that we make. There are, I have here, again, yet all the screws because I was only testing if the memory was okay. In fact, in this test that we made uh, on Geekbench, uh, the results uh, are in fact higher, but we have to see in real, in real life, in real uh, tasks that we make on our system. I use, in fact, for these videos, for, for example, Final Cut, and Final Cut and video editing software uses a lot and a lot of RAM. So I hope with this, uh, I will improve my speed on the videos and also as you know you are able to do a lot of multitasking with these 16 gigs of RAM running virtual machines, your, the Windows, Linux all in the same system okay so and you have plenty and plenty of RAM guys for now this is all uh, I hope you like it if you have any questions or comments that you'd like to to put go ahead it's, it's free uh, once again, if you liked the video, put your thumbs up. If you didn't, put your thumbs down. That's normal in life. But as I say always, if you didn't like it, go ahead and put your comment why you didn't. And uh, I hope it is a, construct a constructive critic. I'm always open to constructive critics. Um, and for now, this is all. Once again, all the best here from me and from Portugal. And I hope to see you on another video. Bye-bye.